Epoxy 101 Volume 1 Shaping, instructed by Greg Lohr, teaches you everything you need to know from making your own custom EPS blanks to shaping and sealing your perfect foil. Blank is set and registered. Registered against those two by fours back there. Springs set the tension of the wire across the plumb of the blank. And we turn on the juice and the springs pull it through. It's a perfect cut every time. Generally for measuring thickness, what we use is a set of calipers like these made by Stan Pleskunas. But for EPS, we don't really need that because the deck and the bottom are flat from the hot wire. So we can measure anywhere we need to, just on the side of the blank. Makes it a lot easier to foil the blank. I want this board to be two and three quarters inches thick, and I've taken three passes off the deck, and I'm still a little thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more off. Notice that I pulled the blank forward onto the rack here. This is so to support this area, which is the work area that I'm, I'm using right now. Make sure that's true. I have the bands the same on both sides, the thickness is the same on both sides, everything is reasonably true, and I'm ready to break the bands down. These are so fragile, you have to really be careful not to knock them off. Next, I move to 100 grit screen. Start at the bottom and push the stuff up. That way you don't dump it all off the rail. 